The apple does not fall far from the arbol. I mean tree. <laughs> arbol is Spanish for tree, if you didn't know. What's going on, Sequoia Nation? It's Dr. Schilling and our lovely Curtis. Handsome Curtis. Handsome. Right? Not lovely. I think he's lovely. It's okay. All right, he's lovely. He's lovely and handsome. Thank you. The thought for today, the Daily Insights, is the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Now, what does that mean, Curtis? Well, the saying comes from like father, like son. Is that what ah, you say? Yes, no, we're saying like, oh, there's there's some habits you might be picking up from living in the same environment as these people that raise you for your whole life. Correct. So if you have an issue with one of your children's behavior, you might look homeward. Okay. We talk about the trickle down effect here. Anytime one of our lovely parents calls us with a, a desperate matter with one of their kids, we usually direct them to say, it might be in your best interest to, uh, for you to start care <laughs> before we work on your children because as much as our children are lovely uh, we are sort of the programmers computer programmers of our children it's true I mean they, they literally are sponges and they look at the smallest things and you wonder where they get it from and they might be getting it from school but they're most likely getting it from somewhere closer so it's always good to look inward first yeah and if you can change it then you're also gonna be able to find a way to change it in someone else because if you're a mom, you are women to all, you are all women to your children. And if you are a man, your dad, you are all men to your children. So they will look for people that are like you. So that's always an opportunity for us as adults, as parents, to take a hard look and say, are there any characteristic traits that are, might not be in my best interest that I don't ne do not want my children to have, right? They're beautiful little mirrors. Oh. I know that. <laughs> and, th and they'll bring up <laughs> things that I hadn't noticed in myself before. <laughs> And maybe maybe it's me, maybe it's my partner, and uh, or my wife. But it's uh, it's always interesting to see. Oh, how how am I? Yeah. Am, am, is that coming from me? Right. So if I'm willing to change, it's going to allow them to be a little more flexible as well. Yes. So you don't have to become a different type of tree, but you might prune your tree a little differently, if you will, and become a different model. I mean, that's what I strive for every day: is to, how do I become a better example? And God knows I'm not perfect. I got my own stuff. But I do my best to say, how do I step up my game, right? Curse is making funny faces over here. And how do I model the behavior that I want to for them, right? That's what it's all about. What an opportunity. What an opportunity. What an opportunity. And children are such an opportunity. They are. <laughs> I have to remind myself that I have a three-year-old and a one-and-a-half-year-old. I remind myself that every day. And for a two- and six-year-old, six going on 16, if you're watching, young Sophia, I love you. Yes, you're my greatest teacher, and so is Samuel. Um, Sarah, you're not far behind. Uh, I get the bevy of opportunities in my life of teachers. <laughs> How lucky are you? I am the luckiest man so on the planet. I know, yeah. I know. So look at yourself today as a parent or as a guardian or whatever you're doing, and Emma's having a good time back here watching us, <clears throat> and say, how do I want to help st stimulate these children to maybe exhibit different behavior? Because if they're exhibiting a behavior that I dislike or I'm not approving of or if I'm, not, if I'm frustrated with it, then I can guarantee that somehow I'm enabling it or I'm somehow uh, permitting it or I'm somehow not challenging them in a way that I could because I secretly know that that's my own tendency. Right? We all do. We have to own it. We're parents. Right? We're not perfect. We're not trying to be perfect. We're not looking for perfection. Our parents weren't perfect, God knows, but we had the opportunity to do something different, to raise the bar, to step the level up. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's no judgment because these little kids are very different than me and they're their own person, mm -hmm. but I'm also reflecting back to them some way, like you say, in some way that, that makes it okay for them to continue that sort of behavior. So, yeah. so just do your best, let go of the rest. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Uh, desde unos padres a los otros, gracias por su tiempo. Anyway. Uh, Muchas gracias. <laughs> We hope this has been stimulating. We hope you're excited about things. Christine has given us the shepherd's truck over here. So we love you. We'll see you tomorrow for the Daily Insights. Peace out. Be well.